Now with loss of scaling, I highly recommend overclocking your Steam Deck. What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the difference between an overclock 21 watt TDP Steam Deck and a stock Steam Deck. The overclock one is this LCD one and the one on the bottom is an OLED that is stock except we do have power tools and loss of scaling running on both of them. We're just going to put them side by side by side to see which one is better. I try to do a screen capture on this, but for whatever reason, it, the screen capture was just taking terrible images. Don't know what's wrong with it. It was working fine before, now it's not working. But, uh, so we're gonna do it side by side like this, which is gonna make it a lot easier to edit. Let's, before we get into it, let's talk about the LCD Steam Deck. So this one's modified. Um, we do have a custom backplate of my design uh, with a Oculent glory hole that we not we're not using uh, but mainly why I'm rocking this one is because of the fan uh, and the vent mod there uh, so it runs a lot cooler especially since we're at 21 t watt TDP um, this one doesn't have a heat shield behind it so the fan can blow into the SOC completely and it's actually running quite quite cool other than that it's pretty much uh, stock the OLED got a grip on it and that's about it uh, we're gonna start off with cyberpunk i don't know why the touch screen's not working on those lcd right now um i noticed that it's not working uh for whatever reason after i did the overclock so real quick while this thing loads up let's talk about overclocking real fast i have a video and i'll link it in the description about how to overclock in 2024 it's still the same in 2025 it's the same way. We do have power tools running on both of them, set to basically the same thing. They're both on charge. This one needs to be on charge because of the overclock. And they're both running lossless scaling. So obviously we're not gonna get the same frame rate on both of them because one has an extra 30 Hertz. And why is the touchscreen not working? But I'm guessing it's, we downgraded the BIOS so things don't work as they should. Double check our graphics that we are on Steam Deck. A to confirm. Look how many frames this thing. It's like 300 frames. When you have these screens side by side, it's like night and day, the difference between the two. So we're getting 50 frames right now, according to GameScope. And then over here on the overclock Steam Deck, we're getting 70. So a pretty big jump. Um, our power usage is not that far off, though. For whatever reason, we're not. It doesn't seem like we're pulling the full 21 watts um, that I offered it, and that might just be the benchmark. I don't know. This GPU is overclocked though, but it doesn't even look like we're even using that overclock. We are getting 90, according to GameScope. We are getting 90 frames on the LCD. We are running a slightly higher TDP though, but I don't know why it's not using the full 21. Uh, I'll run it again after this. Um, base frame rate, real quick, is saying it's 35. This one base frame rate is 22. I'm pretty sure you can't see that, but this one definitely has a higher base frame rate um, versus the OLED, and that could be the overclock. Uh, probably is the overclock. Um, so this one's average is 27. Remember, we're not going off with that. We're, we're using a lossless, so we're going to be going off that. So 38 versus 27, which is a huge difference. Um, I was getting power issues with this OLED Steam Deck. Um, so I'm just going to double check to make sure Power Tools is on performance. Uh, on here, I'm just going to double check. It was not overrided. Okay, so let's override this TDP's apply settings. Back it out. Looks like our TDP is kicked up now. So we're going to go ahead and run that benchmark again. And eight. Now where you can really see the difference in a TDP now. I don't know why that turned off. It should have not turned off. That, there we go. That's the 21 watts I'm looking for. All right. So we're getting 80 frames here. We're getting 48 frames here. Our, our wattage here is about average, about 10 watts. I've noticed that the OLED beat pulls during normal gameplay. We're getting 72, 60. Um, base frame rate on the LCD is 40. Base frame rate here is at 30. 104 frames there on the LCD, which is freaking, pretty freaking cool. We're, remember, this is 60 hertz. We're not getting 100 frames. But if you had a 120 hertz external display running at 800p, you would get 120 frames at that one instance. Oddly enough, the millisecond response is faster there and way slower on this one. But I'm, that's off. I don't know what happens when lossless scaling is on. 
visually though man this looks the whole lid visually just looks so much better so 27 frames on this one how many do we get here 42 55 <laughs> that's pretty insane difference again my oled is having some type of power draw issues but that seems like in line um from my previous test around that tw high 20s low 30s uh mark um losses could be messing with the overall performance on the steam deck but um as you can see over here on the lcd where we power is not an issue um we're ge getting huge huge numbers huge numbers i've done a lot of overclocking and it's always hard for me to recommend overclocking the tdp if you were not using something like an external gpu but now with loss of scaling i highly recommend overclocking your steam deck like it is nice it runs so much better you get so much more frames i should overclock the refresh rate on this screen um to 75 and then i'm probably going to switch over using this for a while now that it's overclocked just because why not running down the street we're getting 78 58 frames here according to game scope remember you're not going to notice that this is 60 this is 90. Um, what I want to do is somehow get my crosshairs out. There we go. And then spin around. The frame gen looks good. Oh, this one's going into the air. Usually you can see it when you spin around. Let's check the menus. I don't notice it in the menus very much. It's really hard for me to see if frame gen is on sometimes in, in such a small handheld. There you go. I can see it on this one. It's definitely on here. You'll see it on the crosshairs. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. It's very faint, but you can see the frame generation on the crosshair. Let's go here. I don't see it at all here, which is kind of concerning. Is it truly on? Gamescope says it's on. It feels 60 frames. Like it feels smooth. Like it feels good. It feels good. This one feels great too. Definitely I can see the frame generation on artifacting in the OLED one more so than this one. Is that because of the overclock? Their GPU is pulling 17 watts right there. It could be because of the overclock. We are getting pretty warm though. We're hitting 90 degrees on the, the GPU. My garage is not the coolest right now it's probably like 80 degrees in here fahrenheit so definitely can notice the difference this one's actually running a hell of a lot better than the than the oled is for sure um and it has to do with that overclock this you can feel the frame generation here this feels like native <laughs> this feels like native this feels so good <laughs> all right so um let's go ahead and exit out of this kingdom come deliverance too pretty much plays very well on a steam deck i don't know if you guys ever tried it out it plays really really well and i'm very i'm i think who i don't know who the publisher is on this but i just want to give them a quick freaking shout out that thank you for optimizing your goddamn game and i think this came out on multiple platforms as well so it's doable it just takes time time is money i'm very well well aware of that but you know it's just really nice to see a really well optimized game especially for the steam deck oh man so let's look at the battery life so we're at 95 percent. we are at full charge when we started this so we, we just lost five percent battery we're getting 37 36 frames here um on the oled our wattage is about where we should be graphic settings 720p window medium overall quality is on medium this is ridiculous all right so up top we're getting 80 frames down below we're getting not even half that we're in the high 30s uh sometimes peaking in the 40s and obviously this looks better than this they're both exact same resolution everything is the same but look this feels smooth this feels like 60 obviously it says it's more this feels like 30 frames it's insane how much better the LCD 
overclock is better than the OLED. Like it's insane how much better it is. And the big difference between the two is this. All right, I'm going to spin both of them around. I'm going to spin them both around like so. And you might not be able to pick it up. And I'm hoping the camera will, but you'll see dots of the crosshair in the middle um, right here on the OLED. You'll see it. You'll see it. It's there. You don't see it on an LCD. You just don't see it. It's, it's insane how good that is. You just don't see it. The frame generation on the LCD is just ridiculous. It is really, it really has. I'm trying to look for it. All right, this is black over here. So we should be able to see it here somehow. I don't see it at all. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. And over here, it's so visible. Let's go against this wall. Here, it's so visible. It's all over the place. You can see it everywhere. Everywhere you see it. It's, it's really night and day in performance. It's like literal night and day. So let's take a look at what's going on over here on the, the LCD. We are at 90 degrees. This one's at 68. We're at 15 watts on the GPU. We're at... um. Uh, two watts on the CPU. Um, overall temperatures here, we are borderline thermal throttling on this side. I think if we get to 92, I think we start to throttle. Or we might be throttling right now. I'm not sure. I know the fan should be at full tilt. I mean, uh, it's just crazy how well these two are running in, in the difference. I guess that's it. You should overclock your LCD Steam Deck. There's, there's no doubt about it. You should be doing this. This is so much better. You can overclock the OLED. I haven't tried it yet. I think I'm going to have to try it. Um, I'm going to have to back up the BIOS and do all that stuff. Because to see how well this thing is running with lossless scaling, it almost it doesn't even feel like it's on. Like, literally, it doesn't feel like it's on. This If someone told me this was native gameplay, I would... I would believe them. I wouldn't believe that there's frame generation here. It feels like native. And I think that's the trick. It's such a small screen. It is such a small screen. So I think that's the key difference. So if we can overclock the OLED, dude, we can get it to run better than this because it actually can run cooler, which means we're going to actually end up modifying the OLED. I've never had to do that. I never thought it needed to because honestly, I didn't think there was any point to overclocking it really but now with loss of scaling you need to overclock it you have to overclock this thing so well that's it for this video guys again if you want to know how to overclock your your steam deck your lcd steam deck i'll be linked in the description below as go under the name how to overclock your steam deck in 2024 i might make a new 2025 version maybe maybe i'll just make one for the oled but it's the same same process. I use Windows to do it. It's so easy with Windows. And the reason why you want to use Windows, because after you roll back the BIOS, sometimes the Steam Deck will naturally want to update the BIOS. It's a pain. Uh, it's just easier to do it on Windows. You just log in, press literally like three buttons, and it does everything for you. It was so much easier on Windows than it was on Linux. Um, so that's why I do it on Windows. And what I do is, I don't have a dual booter on this one, but I just have windows in this SSD that I cut in half. So it was smaller and I just plug this thing in there, it's windows mobile. And then I just switch it back. And then when it does it again, I just switch it back again. It's just, the, it's just what it is the nature of the beast. When you're, when you're overclocked, it just is what it is. But oh my God, is the performance good. It is so good. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.